So I got another first impression for video for you here. This one happens to be on the TI EDC wrench by Big Idea Design or Big Eye Design. I believe it's BigEyeDesign.com is their website, but my understanding is they go by Big Idea Design. They got a great Instagram. Um, uh, I'll link the Instagram stuff. To all those links will be down below. This was a Kickstarter campaign. Um, and I wasn't sure whether I wanted to back this campaign or not. And the reason why is because I wasn't really sure if I needed the wrench that you're going to see in the sense that I don't think I need to carry a, a wrench every day with me. But I was so impressed with the pen. And if you haven't seen the pen video, um, please, I'll link that up here in the card. See that. I was really impressed with um, both owners and creators of the pen. So uh, from Big Idea Design and the way they communicated that for some reason I kind of got sucked into it and I thought, oh, I'll just back these guys. I think this is a great idea. So I thought, go for it. What I also really like about the packaging and about their products is they generally, on the products themselves, they don't do a lot of advertising. However, the boxes, they do. So this doesn't really tell you who it's from, but it tells you exactly what's in the box. And of course on the back, there's the design of the product that you're gonna see on the inside. Um, there's their logo, Big Eye, Big Eye Design. A machine from solid grade five titanium. And there's a black, uh, 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 you would just push on this little black. It's like a hard foam. I'm hoping it's recyclable. I would imagine it would be from these guys. So as you slide it over, there's your standard thank you. Your $5 off if you join their newsletter, which is really nice. Your next order of 50 or more, you can get $5 off. And there's their logo there. And here is the wrench. So I'll take it out of the box just so you guys can see it a little bit clearer. With regards to the wrench, um, adjustable wrench. This wrench, I believe, used to be a Nordic or Swedish style wrench. So here's where your nut would go. And as you uh, screw this or feed this, you're changing the dimensions and or the sizing of the wrench or of the nut. So for example, if we look here at the um, imperial numbers we've got all the way from three quarters the largest setting down to three sixteenth and if we look at metric 19 millimeters down to potentially five it says six as the last number but there's another notch six seven eight yeah so i'd say five it goes down to five millimeters um, i have used this look there's already some scratches on here um, i've used it once because i had to actually use it this way and we'll get into that well, as the wrench goes up and down if you can get enough space in here to get the, the nut, this is great. This would be handy. And actually, using it on a bike wheel the other day, I found that this the, the grip was, was good enough. I didn't need a longer grip. I thought maybe I'd have to attach a bar to it. I didn't. Um, however, I, got, I was working on a rear derailleur, and the nut was really shallow. And so I tried to do it this way, but then as I was closing it in, I'll close it all the way up, and if I flip it over there's this big space in there, and that space was too big for the nut that I needed to work on. So the advantage was I flipped it over this way, and then I reclosed it in on the nut, and that's how I had it, and then I was able to um, loosen it off, but it's still, you know, it's titanium and it's finished, but it still was able to scratch up. And I don't mind these scratches, even though like I've had it for probably two days. The thing is, this is a tool. I like patinas, I like things that uh, uh, become your own. Um, I don't want a tool to be absolutely you know, scratchless. I think that's ridiculous. I remember when I first had my first pair of rollerblades, I didn't want to take them out of the box or even my first pair of Nikes. You know, I was like, I'm not taking these things out of the house. Uh, well, yeah, and then three or four days later, I was like, well, I kind of want people to see that I got these Nikes and I kind of want to use them on the court. So the thing is, is like, I, I don't buy products anymore that I'm not going to use. Um, I know that there are collectors and collector items and lots of different things, but this is not for me a collector's item. This is the tool. Um, and, and the main reason I, I went into this is because the design of this type of wrench, I mean, this to me, I don't even know why they got rid of this. I think it's really a pretty sweet uh, way of having an adjustable wrench versus the crescent wrenches that you see nowadays. I think you're gonna get a little bit more um, grip with the, with the sides here. You've got a little bit more action. Um, I think it's called a Swedish wrench. I'm Swedish wrench. I may be wrong, um, and I'm pretty sure they don't make them anymore. If anybody knows that, feel free to leave a comment and the link in the comments. Uh, I'll take a look. Uh, so this is made of titanium. I'm not sure if all parts are made of titanium. Uh, I would imagine the clip would be, but it's a, 
like a really nice finish. I'm not sure what the weight is. I'll weigh it in a, in a moment or two and so you guys can see that. This says, whether you can see it or not, it says 73.9 grams. Uh, they threw in this little titanium bead. Um, I'm not sure why. I guess they just decided that they were going to start having these beads as around. Um, it, it doesn't add to the tool. It doesn't take away from the tool. It's a nice little touch, but of course it will add weight to the product. Um, do, I, do I need it? Do I guess from pulling out of the pocket? Sure. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm impartial about that. That's just a nice little touch for them to throw it in free for their backers. Cool. The one thing I would notice is maybe you can hear this. I'll, I'll try to be quiet. Is the play. Now the play is naturally going to happen here because as you're screwing through this, this is done on an angle, it's going to adjust um, the opening and closing. So it's going to be just the size of the nut that you're you're able to to take on or off the, off of whatever you're choosing to do. But there is a bit of play, and so I found when I was actually tightening, let's say, use my finger as the nut, as I was tightening it around the nut, there was still this. There's this, still this play. So what happens is, is that I find that for me, I want to push up, so it's no play, and then pull down because. All of a sudden, if I'm turning it and it starts to slide down, I have a potential to strip the nut and or to round the corners is what I'm getting at. So that I didn't really like. That's the one flaw maybe of this design was that it's it there's a bit too much play. And I'm not sure if, it doesn't look like there's a way to adjust that. I would imagine that this little, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I would have to probably take the clip off to see, but I'm not really sure why that's there. What that's, that's probably holding on uh, um, a sliding mechanism for this, but, I don't know if they could have made that a little tighter so it's a little bit more smooth. I don't know if that's a flaw in the design. No, it's not. Like, look. No, they still play. It gets tighter right there, but there's still play. It's really interesting. I don't know. They'd, they'd have to respond to that, but that's the only thing that I see is flawed about this product. As far as size goes, this is a pretty great size. Like I said, I was worried that it wasn't going to be long enough, but for the most part, this is... This has served me really well. I haven't clipped it into my pocket. I don't think this will be part of my EDC collection in the sense that I don't think I'll be carrying this every day. I would use this uh, around the house. My girlfriend has a really nice old vintage bike that has a lot of nuts on it. Um, and she had this aluminum tool that was on its way out, like literally was almost ready to snap in her hand and ended up snapping in my hand. But uh, so I could see myself, you know, lending this to her and or allow, you know, putting it in uh, with her bike tools so that she could utilize it. Um, but I, but I, may, I may change my mind. If I find that this comes part of my EDC collection for whatever reason, I'll do an updated video a little later on. So my impressions are, I like it. I think the design of this is really great. I know it's not their design. It comes from an older stool design, I believe again, called the Swedish wrench, uh, crescent wrench, Swedish crescent wrench. And, uh, uh, but they did a great job of taking what they do with titanium and did a really good job of making this. It's very simple, it's elegant. Um, there's not a lot of flash to it. Clip is really nice, nice and thick clip, so it's it's really tight, so this will spring in and off. This is a nice added touch to be able to pull it out of your pocket, so you can clip and unclip, um, or hang it from keychains if you want to use it as an EDC. Right. So go check them out, bigeyedesign.com. Uh, if you want this product, uh, it should be up on their website. There's lots of other things they've done, and there's lots of other reviews of their other products online. I'll put a link up at the end of the video here of my Big Ideas uh, TI Click Pen. Uh, which uh, the review should have come out before this one. So if you guys got any comments, any questions about using this product, anything that I've mentioned, anything to add, um, any reasons why you think I should have this as part of my EDC, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you uh, like my video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and give that a subscribe button. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, guys.